the five string, I, uh, by me being primarily a four string player, of course I gravitated to this first. When I do one man venues, I do them with a four string bass so that I can slap and pop and, and be free about it without having to concentrate here. A little bit more, and I, and I do the same with this. I play live with five string. This bass is exactly like this one. Except that um, um, uh, it doesn't have a hip shot on the E string, uh, which I don't need it because it's a low B. But it's set up the same way. I have not played this bass as much as I've played this one because I've done more recording uh, since I received the basses than I have played live. When I play live, I will use a five string because of that low B, you know, like I will do it. And actually, what I do is take. I've always taken in the last 10, 12 years, two basses with me, wherever it is that I go. Because a lot of people are now writing for this low B. And some people that ask me to play, they don't care whether I have one or not, because I'm known not to have one. But for the last 10 years, I've been playing a five string instrument. So this right here, this instrument, is from what I've, from what I under, from what I've been able to tell, is it's the same as this instrument, except it has a low B and that the fingerboard is also uh, 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 different. This is a maple fingerboard, and that's a, uh, some kind of rosewood, I believe, fingerboard. Uh, this feels real, real good to me also, too, because the neck is bigger than this, and as we talked earlier, I, am a, I have been a precision player, neck player, I'll put it that way, because I haven't always played the precision bass, but the, the size of the precision neck, so when I, I've got a pretty big hand, and so when I, when I grab this one, it's getting close to a precision feel, you know. They, um, uh, a very, very unique look. It took me a time, I'm old fashioned, and it took me a time to get used to what these things were doing for me, you know, and even still I have a little way to go on what it is. I believe too that on that particular bass, I don't use as many as my ties. This bass is also too louder than this bass. Everything about it, everything about this is louder than this bass. So I don't know if that's pickup uh, level or whatever it may be, but it's good. It's like having two girlfriends <laughs> instead of just one. Um, but I enjoy uh, uh, both of them uh, very much. It's, it's like a, uh, going to a new country or going to a new studio or, going, or buying a new house or getting into a new car, you know. So I'm excited, as you know I am. I'm inside. I'm wanting to use a pedal board more and more and more as time goes by, especially since I received these exotic pedals. You know, I had did not have that much interest before. I just carried um, a, a, a DI, the looper, and a volume pedal. Um, well, actually, no, I did. I've always carried these two uh, on this board. But I do enjoy doing it. It's, it's inspiring me to do some things that I wasn't inspired to do early on in my career. Uh, so I'm very satisfied with the board. It's a good size. It's not too big. Uh, I can almost carry it or run with it, I should say, because it is heavy. But I enjoy the mid-range. I have to figure out how to use the mid-range. I dial out all mid-range on all, all, all my career. Like here, I have it all out. There, I have it all out. It's just that nasal sound. My hands obviously have some kind of a mid-range sound in them already. And too much mid-range sounds a little bit nerdy to me. You know, I can mention a few bands uh, where bass players have that real nasal sound. Um, I don't know how to say it without being kind. I mean, being what it is. Because some there's some rock groups that I really like, except I don't like the sound of the bass. It sounds a little bit too mid-rangey, you know. Um, but then sometimes, you know, I, there are rock groups that I hear that have a good, uh, good bass sound, good bass tone. Um, so I'm working on that. I'm enjoying the instrument, um, both of them. This one feels the best. This one's, I've been having to play this one more than this one. But this one feels real, real good, because I think because of the neck. So all in all, I'm very, very satisfied. Maybe one day you'll see me with a board twice as long <laughs> with all kinds of pedals on it. 
I hope not, but you never can tell with me.